Hi, fundraisers. Ever have one of those days where all of your time-saving apps seem more hassle than help? You, my friend, are not alone. Ah, that's better. At DonorBox, we know you have a million more important things on your mind than keeping up with routine tasks that break your flow. This is why today I wanna to talk about DonorBox's integration with Zapier that literally zaps away tedious tasks that are important, but that still eat into your time day after day. Zapier lets you connect DonorBox with thousands of popular apps that you already use, like Google Sheets, Slack, and QuickBooks. Automating your workflow and freeing up your time so you can focus better on what matters most. Delivering actual impact. Oh, and did I mention you can do this all easily from your DonorBox dashboard? No coding, no sweat. Zapier moves data between your favorite web apps, automating your business process workflows. It essentially takes over routine tasks to lighten your load. You can connect the apps you use with DonorBox. This is known as creating a Zap and can be done in just a few steps. A Zap is basically an automated task you set up to connect two of your frequently used online apps. Zaps have two parts a trigger, and an action. A trigger. When this happens, it results in an action. Do something. Once you have created a Zap, Zapier takes over, checking the trigger every few minutes for new data. And when the Zap is triggered, it automatically performs the action. A quick heads up, you will need to set up your DonorBox account and your Zapier account to get the Zaps going. So let's get started with the dashboard demo. We're using Slack as today's example, but remember there are over 2,000 apps that you can connect as simply and as seamlessly as this. On your DonorBox dashboard, go to your account settings and select the API and in Zapier integration tab to create an API key that will connect DonorBox and Zapier. An API is a type of standardized interface, allowing different systems to share data with each other. In other words, API is a messenger. And this one needs a key to open up the connection between Zapier, DonorBox, and the apps you decide to Zap. There is a monthly cost for this integration. The fee is similar to a monthly premium streaming service, but it does so much more for you. Once you have created the API key to connect DonorBox and Zapier, be sure to make a note of it and store it safely. It will only be shown once for security reasons. Next, in Zapier, click Make a Zap on the top navigation bar. Choose DonorBox as your trigger app. Now, select a DonorBox trigger, say a new donor, a new donation, or a new campaign, and continue. After selecting a trigger, click the Connect an Account button to connect DonorBox to Zapier. In the pop-up authentication page, enter your username, usually your organization's email and your API key. This will allow Zapier to access your DonorBox account. With Slack selected, you can choose an action to send any new DonorBox information to your Slack account. You can send a direct message, a channel message, or add a reminder. You can even add some less common actions that are easily available by clicking the drop-down menu. This is all about meeting your needs. For message text or other fields, use the plus icon to the right of the text field and add content using the data retrieved from DonorBox to complete your Zap template. With your template done, click the Finish button, name your Zap, enable it, and go live. And there it is, a task completed without your involvement. Just the right data defined by you to your need, pulling from one app to the other, no tech expertise or coding required. Zephyr and DonorBox integration is known to save plenty of time for busy nonprofit professionals like you. Check out our Zapier how-to guides on our nonprofit blog or join us here on our channel. Hit subscribe now so you don't miss a thing and see just how easy life can be with DonorBox, helping you help others.